All right. Uh, he's a friend of Peter DeSouza's, and he's in from Wisconsin. And his name is John DeMeo. And is he here? And uh, is he ready to rock? And if anybody else uh, wants to read open mic, you'll let me know after John goes, and uh, we'll hear you out. Oh, and JC is here. JC, he's waving his pole. JC, he's saying, "I'm ready, I'm ready." Okay, first John, then JC. All righty. For John to me. Hello, yeah. Edward. Edward. Thank you, hey, Edward. I'm originally from here. I've been away for thirty some years. So, um, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, let's see. I have uh, a couple poems here. That, uh... This one's called Unmarked Scar. It's uh, more like an ode to um, intergenerational trauma, maybe. Let's see what happens here. It is like the unmarked scar. <coughs> you invisibly draw on the body of the one you love most. It bleeds just a little more than the Genesis wound. Is blood really shed? Or can we just file such things under dramatic illusions? The fruits of which the fruits of which can only be tasted by those in need of that particular flavor of trauma. Without recognition, relevance is lost. Energy discharged, interest never found. Such is the blood-soaked note that sings to my past while pressing its sharp edge into the unborn of my future. So much invested in this little world of wounds. Flesh is only flesh. A knee will have to buckle. A tear, a tear, will have to soak lashes at some point. Though it may take a lifetime or two. This one's a little better. It's a little more um, uplifting, or yeah. <laughs> so um, I'm just like finding this book. Hearth. It's called Hearth. Yeah, where I live in Wisconsin, it's like uh, there's cliffs and um, and water on both sides. It's, it's kind of an interesting place. So and there's a fair amount of sailing goes on. So, um, and this is kind of dedicated to somebody I just realized it was a, a dear, dear friend who had, um, I just found out last night, had passed away. And this was kind of written about our relationship a little bit. Light of a far off place, shining through mists of time, rigging, timbers, weave and throw sails, Balance this mass of wood, tar, and line upon this sea of salt, fish, and weeds. Hearth, your fire shines from a warm room upon salty cliffs. Knotted rugs from the east float on wide boards like islands of warmth. I close my eyes and fill my soul with such warmth. As I breathe, I can smell thick soup and dark, crusty bread. Salty, wet wind blows through my hair. Canvas, sail, keep your strength. Draw me through one cold wave after another. Bring me closer to that beacon of light born in the hearth of my home. Beginning, walk with me to the point where we began. Oh, this is a different poem. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was really an anticlimactic ending. I'm sorry, my apologies. But um, yeah, yeah, it was really wonderful to be able to read here. Thank you.